Hi, Michael Farr, Farr, Miller & Washington. Today's markets have been on the positive side in a kind of eerie and unsettling, counterintuitive way. We saw uh, over the weekend debt ratings cut on seven debt-laden European countries. Two countries, Austria and France, lost their AAA rating and were downgraded to AA ratings. Of course, all of that news for the downgrade and the fact that these companies are less, countries are less worry, worthy borrowers has sent share prices higher. Doesn't make a whole lot of intuitive sense. But there was still another backdrop. It wasn't any worse. A lot of the European markets had time to digest this over the weekend before we hit U.S. markets. Other things in the news economically, China reported its GDP. China's GDP was up 9.2 percent for 2011. This was a weaker number than expected. It was lower than the 10.4 GDP growth number that they had in 2010. China has been easing because of this economic slowdown. It doesn't sound like much of a slowdown to European countries or to U.S., but in this developing, emerging economy, that is striking the Chinese as a big number, and we're not sure how much those o numbers are overstated. We suspect that they are. Anyway, that number just came in as the Goldilocks number, neither too hot nor too cold, but just cold enough to keep the flow of Chinese government money, stimulus dollars, flowing to support that economy. Markets took that as a very good sign, and we're seeing share prices around the world, and in European, Asian markets first, then European markets before the U.S. markets open, all moving higher based on that confidence from China. So, world markets still moving on a lot of government money. In the U.S., one earnings company uh, of note, actually two, Citigroup missed. Uh, these banks that have trading operations and investment banking operations are really having difficulty. Wells Fargo beat their number by a penny, less dependent on that trading revenue. So, markets were up about 150 points at the high today. We've seen them pull back coming into the close, up 50 or 60 points. Still overall a good day in the face of a lot of otherwise not particularly good news. We're going to continue to stay the course. Things are unfolding as we have thought that they would for some time at Farm Miller and Washington. And we expect that over time here, the companies that will benefit most are those with solid balance sheets, continued strong earnings, lots of cash flow, and good dividends. So while all the noise continues around the world and on the uh, business media, it's our thought that we stay the course, keep our heads about you, uh, and we'll uh, see it through to tomorrow. I'll talk to you again soon.